May 19 The cannonading subsides, a perfect road of small arms breaks forth, a charge. A charge. Is whispered along the lines. When this becomes apparent, a strange uneasiness, dread came over my mind. I confess I feared the result of the enemy's first assault upon our works. They were flushed with success ever since they had landed at Grand Gulf they had been victorious. Our men withstand the muddy concussion that awaits them. Under cover of a heavy artillery fire they wind through the valleys until they come in a short distance of our works. In perfect order they form a solid body. Six step dot 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 they rush with flying banners, glittering arms. On they come, our cannon pours forth deadly grape into their ranks. They fill up the vacant gaps, without pausing a moment. They come now in seventy yards of our lines. Now a thousand heads rise above, above the earthworks. A thousand deadly guns are aimed, the whole lines are lighted up with continuous flash of firearms. Every hill seems to be a burning smoking volcano. The enemy's enemy's solid columns reel, totter before this galling fire like grass before the moving scythe they fall. After the enemy retired, the smoke had been dissipated, an awful scene was spread before the eyes of our brave men. The hillside was strewn with the dead, dying. Thanks be to the great ruler of the universe, Vicksburg is still safe. All my fears in reference to taking the place by storm now vanished. The same quiet stars now look down from the serene skies. Alas! Many eyes that looked up to them now are darkened by death, shall never open again until the heavens be no more. May